Now to the big story we're following for you here at 7:30. The ACLU suing the city, claiming Memphis Police Department's undercover surveillance violated a 1978 court order. CW 30's Jude Francine live for us in studio. Jude, the judge has been hearing from both sides since Monday and will continue before ordering new rules. That's right, John, and things are expected to wrap up today with a ruling from the judge. But of course, with cases like these, you never really know. Memphis Police Director Mike Rawlings and the city of Memphis leaders said they will comply with whatever the judge orders. But there is worry it will impact MPD's abilities to assess online threats to people and property to protect the public. Take a look. MPD Director Mike Rawlings took the stand yesterday. His testimony followed hours on the stand by MPD Sergeant Tim Reynolds. He outlined instances starting in 2016 when he spied on prominent Memphis activists through an alias Facebook page known as Bob Smith. Through the page, Sergeant Reynolds alerted other MPD leaders beforehand of unpermitted disturbances and gatherings at Overton Park Greensward, Graceland, and even talks by demonstrators of hacking the Memphis Zoo computer system in 2016. The monitoring also extended to counter out of state white supremacists during Confederate statue protests in 2017. Sergeant Reynolds told attorneys such undercover social media monitoring wasn't political intelligence, but public safety. MPD and other city leaders stand by their actions despite the judge's initial ruling. The police director that um, stood up on the bridge and escorted folks off the bridge back in 2016 and um, made no arrests is the same police director who um, is trying to protect all people and allow for these First Amendment um, protests to happen. ACLU leaders want the judge to order court monitoring of MPD, while city leaders want the 1978 consent decree to be changed and clarified for modern issues such as social media and the internet. Of course, we will be in court for day three of this hearing and bring you the very latest as it comes in. Reporting live in studio, Jean A. Francine, CW 30 Morning News.